Welcome to Kiever's Place, the Kiever Murdoch Show and Podcast. We hope that by the end of our show, you're left feeling empowered, motivated, and connected. So come on in the room, grab your favorite drink, sit back, and enjoy the ride. Because you're finally at home at Kiever's Place. Now give it up for our host and producer, Coach Kiever Lernice Murdoch. Welcome, 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 family, to another amazing episode of Kiva's Place, the Kiva Murdoch Show and Podcast. I am your host and producer, Coach Kiva Lernies Murdoch, and I am so glad that you're able to join us for part three of our pre-launch book tour. I have with me in my virtual studio, Ms. Omu Obalor, and she's going to share a little bit about her personal experiences with this anthology and why she is living in perfectly fierce and focused. But before we bring her on, let me just introduce her to you. She's no stranger to Kiva's Place. She has been here before with another project, and I'm so excited to have her back in the house tonight. So again, I have Ms. Omu joining me tonight. She is an engineering graduate of over 20 years. She started her coaching, speaking, and training journey 11 years ago as a founding member of the John Maxwell team. Her mission is, is excuse me, her mission in life is to help leaders be more successful while living their best lives intentionally, using the most appropriate and most efficient path possible. Her clients experience amazing improvements in their productivity, time management, motivation, leadership skills, flexibility, goal attainment, creativity, stress reduction, work-life balance, and mindset. Those are all very important um, skill sets to have. So without further ado, let's go ahead and break her on so we can get this show started. So welcome, Ms. Omu. How are you? Very well, thank you. I just love your name. It's so pretty and it's so different too. And we need to tell our viewers, first of all, she is all the way from Nigeria. So I am so excited to have her here tonight. <laughs> awesome. So listen, thank you for coming on. Actually, it's, I'm so happy to have you, but the purpose you're here tonight is to talk about our upcoming book project, which is Imperfectly Fierce and Focus. So before we actually dive into that, tell our viewers just a little bit more about you, maybe something that I didn't mention in your background. What is it that you did mention? Um, I'm a wife and a mother of an amazing young man. Um, I'm a golfer and I love traveling. I didn't know you golf. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. What actually got you in into golfing, by the way? Um, I'm, I love to explore things and I love outdoor. And um, I started golfing about two, over 20 years ago. Um, and I started it as just something to, I'm a bit of an introvert. So it was something to get me out of the house and um, keep me occupied and then I fell in love with it. Wow okay see I didn't even know that about you interesting love it love it love it all right so listen what actually led you in the field of coaching because you were an engineering graduate so how did you transition into the field of coaching? I I went into the field of coaching I didn't go into the field of coaching because I wanted to be a coach I, I went into the field of coaching. I joined the John Maxwell team, which was um, which is basically how I started out my coaching journey. Um, I joined because I wanted to develop myself. So it was about me developing myself and growing myself. And then um, the rest is history. They say I now um, decided or I found out it was something that I I needed other people to experience the transformation that I had experienced. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing about coaching, you know, if you buy in 100%, 
the the results are phenomenal and it's definitely like life changing so i tell people you know um with anything you just have to really give it 110 percent and you think is no different than that you get out what you put in so very good so you are also a contributing author in our amazing anthology coming up in perfectly fierce and focused rising above your imperfections while still while still crushing your goals but tell us what's what's your contribution to this book what's the name of your title so my title is living life to the um living life to the fullest a story of passion perseverance and possibility Mm -hmm. And what actually inspired you to want to participate in this particular project? Okay, well, this particular project, aside from the fact that I had already met you, and um, so I, I was a bit comfortable, the, the title spoke to me. It really is, it, the title could have easily been the title of my book or the title of my chapter. It, it actually just was in sync you know how you read something and it's almost like it's speaking about your journey mm -hmm. so tell us a little bit about your mm -hmm. your journey because as i'm bringing guests on a lot of people are pretty much saying the exact same thing they felt um the title the title kind of gravitated them to this particular project. So I'm curious to know, just tell us a little bit more about your background without giving too much away because we want them to buy the book. <laughs> but what 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 in your background actually um, resonated with you with this particular title? So what in my background, most of all, what, what kind of aligns to it is a journey where you go from being overprotected, getting pretty much everything that you want, to getting to where you're not sure of yourself anymore, you're not sure of your capabilities, you don't trust your judgment anymore, um, you begin to lack confidence, and then you're having to walk yourself back towards that place of confidence and that place where you honestly should be. And it's a whole, you know, I, I'm saying it and it's in one or two sentences, but it actually is a whole process, a continuous process, which, by the way, I'm still on. So I always say that it's a journey and not a destination. So it's still a process. It's still something that I'm going through. Um, having to get to that point where you can actually say to yourself that you're living your life and you're living it to, your, to the fullest, I'm is something that I think everyone needs to experience. Mm -hmm. I love that. And I love the fact that what you said is, it's a journey, it's a process. I was just on another show just recently and we were talking about that same thing, but not only about it, just life in general being a process and living life to your fullest potential is a process, but it's also about trusting the process and trusting yourself that you are you know making those those right decisions to align yourself and so that you can focus the reach those goals that you have set in front of you so we have to get to that point to where like you said trusting yourself being confident in your um, abilities to make those right decisions but also trusting the process that you are um setting yourself up for success and to be the best version of yourself. Yeah. Uh, I love it. So when they are reading your chapter, Omu, what is it that you want the readers to walk away from, from reading your particular chapter? Most of all, I want readers to know that one, it's okay not to be okay. It's not okay to remain there permanently. It happens. And, you know, the most important thing is to recognize that it ha it's happened and ask yourself, what's the way forward? 
And, you know, it's it's funny how um, you hear things. And like you said, when you honestly put it into practice and then you start to do it and you go on that journey, it actually made me a better coach because I'm coaching you from a point of experience, personal experience. And so trusting the process and being present, being grateful for where you are and understanding fully where you are. A lot of us just glide through life. And because we're not present, we're not fully knowledgeable of what's going on. So we're not fully in control and we're not taking control. And then life just happens. And before we know what's happening, it's missed us. So it, it's I want I want people to take away the fact that yes, they can fail, but it's important to be present, to be able to take the next steps and um, achieve living their best lives. Also, I want them to take away that it, when we say living your life to the fullest, um, there's that misconception that you're either very materially wealthy or very successful. A lot of people would um, attach outward um, things to it. And then a lot of people would um, want some accolades and all that. That's not what living your life to the fullest is because you can have all the money in the world. You can have all the certificates, all the awards and still not be happy. It's about knowing what truly matters to you and leaving those values and being your authentic self. I love that. That is perfectly said. And I love when you were talking about also, um, we are talking about trusting your process and sitting in your truth. And I know with social media, you know, if you're not 16 sharp, as the old folks used to say, you will fall into this rabbit hole where you just believe in the facade that everybody's just out here just doing the best they can they never have bad days and you know we're all growing and flourishing which is all fine and good but when the the, the essence of the reality is that we all have those days to where we are questioning we are not you know our best version we are not in that good headspace and it's okay to acknowledge that because if you do not acknowledge it then that's where you find yourself stuck you have to acknowledge where you are in that moment so that you can get beyond that. You can really start to implement change. You can figure out why you're triggered. What is what actually have you in that space at that moment so that you, you can get beyond that and get into a better space. So that was, I love that. That's and you were also talking about Omu um living your fullest does not automatically equate to wealth is it fair to say living to your fullest can really has a huge impact on self-care and your mindset your mental state absolutely absolutely so self-care comes in looking after yourself taking out time for yourself i'm a, i'm a very i mean part of what i do is plan retreats and I'm a huge fan of taking out time. And like I also say to people, it doesn't mean you have to go to a very expensive place. It doesn't mean you have to travel miles. It doesn't mean you have to, it doesn't have to cost you an arm and a leg, but just take some time for yourself. And, you know, like hear your own voice, listen to yourself, have conversations with yourself, do other things that would um, help you relax, pamper yourself, appreciate yourself, you know, and you come out feeling good about yourself. That's also part of it. Setting boundaries and keeping boundaries is a huge part of it as, of, as, it, uh, um, of it as well, you know. That's a huge part of self-care for me. That is also very important, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's so important, especially as women, because we're not really taught to nurture our ourselves we pour into everyone else and before you know it you're out here running on fumes so it's really important and you know i'm grateful for this particular moment and this space because that is something especially with you know having 
a lot of coaches and consultants out there now. We are really pushing to make sure that you are able to be the best version of yourself that you can possibly be. And, right. And in order for you to do that, you have to take care of yourself. And there are some women out there that are still feeling selfish if they take some time out to just relax, get their nails done, get yeah. their food, whatever. And it's necessary. You need to take that time out for yourself to make sure that you are good because we can't pour from an empty cup. Absolutely. Absolutely. Love it. So I want to ask you, looking back over your life, Omo, because there may be somebody that probably grew up in a similar situation. You were mentioning earlier that you came from an overly structured environment. So looking back over your life, if you had to give yourself your young, what would that advice be? What would you tell your younger self? Hmm. Um. Did I lose you? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think she's might having she might be having a little bit of internet issues right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to a very brief commercial break if you're just joining us right now you are watching kiva's place the kiva murder show and podcast and i have in my virtual studio miss omu obelar she's the um coach of thrive with omu and we're talking about the pre-book launch series Imperfectly Fierce and Focus. So I'm going to take a very brief commercial break just to give her time to come back on air. And I will be right back with you. So don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Have you ever struggled with procrastination, imposter syndrome, or a false reality of perfection? Have you ever suffered from trauma, anxiety, or depression? then I have a solution just for you. Introducing Imperfectly Fierce and Focused, rising above your imperfections while still crushing your goals. This anthology is to empower, uplift, and motivate readers to recognize their ability and strength to get beyond the spirit of perfection, fear, and procrastination. So if you're ready to stop the excuses, stop the procrastination, and start living your best version of yourself, then prepare yourself for this powerful book release. It's going to be epic. Like and follow our Facebook page in Perfectly Fierce and Focused. Rising above your imperfections while still crushing your goals. Have you been feeling like life is just passing you by and you are not sure of what's going to come next? Do you want to figure out what your purpose is and begin to take steps toward it? Are you ready to become who you've always dreamt of becoming? Are you ready to reconnect and identify with your true self and begin to operate from that authentic place? If so, my next group coaching program, Chaos to Confidence, is for you. I would love to connect with you and support you as you move toward your amazing future. I am Coach Amy A. with ABR Coaching, Consulting, and Training, and I am here to lift you up and encourage you on your journey throughout life. Would you recognize the signs of someone having a seizure? Would you know what to do if you witness someone having a seizure? Did you know that epilepsy affects 3 million Americans and 1 in 26 people living with epilepsy? Did you know epilepsy is a brain disorder that causes reoccurring, unprovoked seizures? Well, Hardy Hands Foundation is here to answer these questions and more. Hardy Hands Foundation is a 501c3 organization based out of South Carolina that was founded by Kim Hardy in November of 2017. We offer seizure first aid education, patient and caregiver support, 
therapeutic support, animal education, and so much more. For more details or or how to book us for speaking engagements about epilepsy, visit our website at www.hardyhands.com. And welcome back to Kiva's Place, the Kiva Murdoch Show and Podcast. If you're just joining us, we are talking about our pre-book launch series. This is actually part three. And I had in my studio, Miss Omu Obalor, and she was talking about her title of the book, which is Living Your Life to the Fullest. Um, I'm, unfortunately, she's having a little bit of technical difficulties right now. So we're just going to kind of see if she's able to join us um, in just a few minutes. But I would definitely want to pop on the screen her contact information. We were talking very briefly about her chapter and how she is able to um, live life to the fullest. Earlier in the show, she was just sharing with us just a little bit of her background that she came from a very structured environment. And from that environment, she learned a few things and she shared it in our anthology project that is gonna be um, launched May 31st of this year. So we're going to drop her contact information so that you can definitely reach out to her. She we the entire interview because she was having some technical difficulties but if you want to reach out to her just find her at thrive with omu on facebook as well as instagram again that's at thrive with omu on facebook and instagram you can also reach out to her on her linkedin which is omu obalar and you can find her on her linkedin as well so just a couple things that she shared and how you can live your life to the fullest and what she was basically sharing with us is that when you hear that uh phrase living life to the fullest it does not automatically equate to just a wealthy or a monetary standard taking care of yourself mentally taking care of yourself physically that's how also how you can live your life to the fullest because if you're not really um in a good space, in a good heart space, in a good head space, then it's really impossible for you to live your life to the fullest. Because when you think about it, you really are cutting yourself short because you're really not giving yourself the grace and the time and the resources that you need to make sure that you are living your best life, make sure that you are showing up as your best self. So definitely be looking forward to Imperfectly Fierce and Focused. Um, as I stated earlier, we are we have a book launch date of May the 31st, and you can definitely find Omu's chapter in this book, and she will definitely just be diving more deeply into um, her thought process with that phrase and also dropping gems and nuggets and how you can do the same thing and making sure that you are living your life to the fullest. Um, I'm going to give her just a couple more minutes, but I definitely want to also drop how you can stay in contact with our book launch. Just follow us on Facebook, go to at Imperfectly Fierce and Focus. That's on Facebook. And you can also find us on Instagram, Imperfectly underscore Fierce underscore, underscore Focus. Again, that's on Instagram, Imperfectly underscore Fierce underscore Focus. So you can I definitely go ahead and like and follow our pages on both Facebook and Instagram so that you can stay abreast on the launch of our book. So we want you to be looking forward to it again. It's going to be May 31st. So follow us so that you do not miss any details on this launch. So it looks like she's able to join us. So we'll go ahead and pull her back on the screen and we'll finish our show. <laughs> Welcome back, Queen. Welcome back. <laughs> Technology. Gotta love it, right? <laughs> So listen, thank you so much for just hopping back on. We still have a, we still have a few more minutes. So thank you so much. So before our break, I had asked you if you had to look back and give your younger self any advice for anybody that may be in a similar situation such as yourself, what advice 
would you give them? Now, and I would say that, you know, without having to sound um, cliche, um, I wish I had taken my parents' advice a lot of the times, especially my dad. And then the major, major advice I would say to anyone, my younger self and even myself now, is things never seem like, seem, things never are as they appear to be. So a lot of times we build and make up stories in our head. The um the the it, it's always it's it's not always in the appearance of things in the sense that when we see things or we hear things, it's important to seek clarity and to actually process it. The, it's it's never just as the way you say it. So I see you, Kiva, all nicely dressed and made up. And I just assume some perfect look, um, a Kiva living a life without worries and without stress, or a Kiva who is not smiling at me because she doesn't like me or anything like that. You know, don't ever find yourself jumping into conclusions like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I like to call those a lot of misconceptions. We read into things before we gather all of the information. Yep. That's exactly right. And that can lead us down a very bad path. I had a situation with a young lady just the other day and that perceived something to be what it what it wasn't. Right. So in those situations. Tend to jump to conclusions before gathering all of the facts. I love that. Perfect. Perfect advice. Awesome. So to wrap up the show, Omu, I always ask my guests during this series, and I want to know from you, from all your lived experiences and in your education background and everything you have endured in your life, how are you able, in what ways rather, are you able to live in perfectly fierce and focused? I would say um, the first and most important thing is my relationship with God um, because um, I'm a Christian and as a Christian, I ultimately believe that at the end of the day, um, he keeps me grounded. He keeps me focused. Um, actually, I mean, that's what, that's the only reason why I would do a million and one things, anything that I do because he sees the end from the beginning and I have absolute trust. Um, then outside that, I, I've learned not to overthink things and I'm a recovering perfectionist. And like I had said earlier, I always say to myself, it's okay. I don't even like using the word fail anymore. It's okay not to get it right the first time. It's okay not to get it right, but I won't keep trying. I won't stop trying. I'll keep trying. Yes, I love it. Give yourself some grace and cut yourself some slack. Yeah, it is. It is okay. And the whole premise of this book, ladies and gentlemen, and perfectly fierce and focused is to really get you outside of your comfort zone. Too often we found comfort in things that we know. And if you're not careful, you are, you can become stagnant and afraid to move. And then you have fear, you have insecurity set in. But sometimes, you know, growth comes from being in those uncomfortable situations. So you have to learn to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. And if you know that you have something to do, you know that, you know, God has laid a vision upon your heart. You know that you have people to reach, but you are just afraid to jump. We're here to tell you to jump. And if you need those tools in order to get you to that point, then definitely be prepared for imperfectly fierce and focused, rising above your imperfections while still crushing your goals. So stay tuned. Definitely like and follow us. Again, this is our Facebook as well as our Instagram page. So follow us in perfectly fierce and focus on Facebook and on Instagram and perfectly underscore fierce underscore focus. More information about the launch will be shared on those pages. 
And if you want to reach out to my guest, Omu, on Facebook and IG once more, you can find her at Thrive with Omu on Facebook as well as Instagram. And her LinkedIn is her name, Omu Obalor. So definitely reach out to her. So thank you, Queen, for just joining me for this special show tonight. It has been a pleasure to have you. And of course, you're no stranger. So you're welcome back anytime. Anytime you have any projects coming up, you just come right on back home and share it with our audience. It has been an honor and a pleasure to have you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. So ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our show for tonight. If you want to reach out to me, you can definitely reach out to me on my LinkedIn. As soon as I can find that, I'll pop it on the screen, but you can find about find out about everything that I have coming up on my link tree. Just go to L-I-N-K tr.ee forward slash Kiva Murdoch. You can find out about all my projects, my books that I currently have out release. And if you want to help support me in the Miss Plus America pageant, which is coming up in July, there's a link there for you to give. No monetary gift is too small. Every bit helps and your sister needs it, okay? So definitely, definitely, please, please, please support me and help me on this journey so that I can represent our state and preferably our country for the Miss Plus America pageant. So thank you so much. And until next time, please continue to share, connect, and glow because you know building your network also builds your net worth. So until next Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, peace and blessings. I love you much. Stay safe and good night. Thank you for watching Kiever's Place, the Kiever Murdoch Show and Podcast. Tune in every Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Kiever's Place. To be a guest on our show, text the word guest to 803-368-3030 or visit us at tinyurl.com slash Kiever's Place Book. And watch us on Apple TV, Roku, and Amazon Fire as we're broadcasting in more than 60 million homes worldwide.